Good morning, my darlings, and welcome to a new vlog. Good afternoon. It's actually lunchtime, and I thought I'd pick up the camera because I'm going to share what is hopefully going to be a very seasonal and very mouth-watering, updated for autumn mac and cheese recipe. Yes, actually, I haven't checked that we've got all the ingredients that we need, so I might have just hyped myself up and might be disappointed but hopefully we're gonna do a pumpkin mac and cheese the first thing that I need to do is actually create a pumpkin puree and this is going to be an ingredient that I will use over the next week in a variety of things ranging from breads to cakes to mac and cheeses and anything else that um, my imagination leads us to so yeah it's gonna be a very pumpkin themed vlog today. I'm actually peckish and now that I'm thinking about whether we've got the ingredients or not I'm really keen to find out so let's go down to the kitchen see if we've got all we need and then the first thing that we need to do is cut up the pumpkin which is very much easier said than done so what I like to do is just halve it get rid of the seeds and then roast it until the flesh comes away from the skin and then you can cut it away from the skin really easily blend it up and that is literally your pumpkin puree add it into your cheese sauce and jobs are good Here is my chopped up pumpkin. Um, as you saw, I took the seeds out and I personally love roasted pumpkin seeds. So I'm gonna give those a clean and uh, bake those afterwards. But for now, we'll get this in the agar at around 180 and in about 20 minutes, it'll be ready for pureeing. might be able to hear, oh, you can see my skim's body underneath the neckline. So you might be able to hear that the Thermomix is twizzling away in the background. And that is because at the end of this cheese sauce making process, I will be using the Thermomix to blend everything together. So I thought I might as well actually just make the entire cheese sauce in the Thermomix. If you have got a thumb mix. I will leave the recipe that I use for my cheese sauce up on the screen here. Cheese wise I like to do a mixture of cheddar and parmesan and I've got to say the quality of the cheese that you use really does impact the flavour of the mac and cheese. Even if you add pumpkin, even if you add mustard to your cheese sauce which is a little secret that I like to do, I just love the taste of mustard, but if you get a really nice nutty cheddar and a beautiful parmesan, a gruyere to make it stringy and gorgeous, um, sorry that's actually making my mouth water, then obviously you're going to get those flavours in at the cheese sauce. Today I'm just using a really simple cheddar because um, we're going to have that flavour of the pumpkin. Normally I would make the cheese sauce on the hob the old fashioned way and I have shown that in a few previous videos so I'll leave the most recent up on the screen here. By the way, how cute is this little dress? I feel like it's very autumnal, um, perfect for days like today when I'm just doing bits and bobs at home. I need to keep an eye on the time so I've got a call in just over an hour. Um, cheese sauce almost done and I'm about to put the pasta on um, but yeah it's got a lovely little smocked bodice it's got this kind of Swiss dot material which is sheer on the sleeves super comfortable smocking here and I've added my little belt and this is a very affordable Amazon number which I'll leave linked down below so the next step I need to use my tripod which is the milk bottle to pop some milk into the cheese sauce add the cheese and then we are on our way Another tiny tip, just make sure you don't do too little salt in the water. You want a really good pinch. And then choose your pasta. My favorite for mac and cheese is either rigatoni or a kind of radiatore. I'm gonna order some more radiatore that's not tricolore. I'm not sure if this one is technically radiatore because it's got the little squiggles in it. Um, but traditional radiatore, I'll leave a picture on the screen here. I literally just get it on Amazon if I'm not um, going to be going near any Italian food shops. But yeah, today I'm gonna do rigatoni, which I love because then the cheese sauce fills these delicious tubes with yumminess. to 
get a little bit of fresh thyme, which we've got plenty of in this little um, metal trough here. And I think pumpkin and sage would go together quite nicely. That sage isn't looking too happy, but I'm pretty sure we've got a good amount down here. There's about minutes left cooking on the cheese sauce, and then I'll get the pumpkin out of the agar and add my tasty spices. Ooh. Ah, thank goodness, the sage has survived the crazy winds that we've had lately. Perfect, I think I'll just take a little sprig. Do you know what? You could put most vegetables inside a mac and cheese. I've got some turnips growing down there. Maybe not turnips and carrots, actually a bad example. Rainbow chard, kale. In fact, why don't we pop a little bit of kale on top just for a little bit of extra veggie goodness. Oh, do you know what? I can't do that with one hand. This will be a kale mac and cheese. Okay, my darlings, here we have got the regular cheese sauce. At this stage, I might, well, I would always, of course, do a taste test. I might add more parmesan, um, a bit more salt, a bit more pepper, but I'm not gonna do the taste test today until the end because adding in the spices that I don't normally add. I do normally add a bit of nutmeg, but anyway, let's just get cracking. Yeah, I'll basically do the taste test afterwards. Today, to really go with the pumpkin, I am adding a teaspoon of paprika. I've actually never used these before, um, but I figured that it, that it might go quite nicely. A teaspoon of onion granules. I'm just gonna have to shake them straight in, I think. It's just gonna make it a little bit more savory and I'm going to grate about a third of a nutmeg in here as well, which is just the best. Pause on the sauce for just one second because my pasta is now ready. So I'm just gonna pop it into this lovely metal baking dish. This step always reminds me of Wisteria Seed Mac and Cheese Gate. If you guys have been watching the channel for long enough to remember the wisteria seed incident, then leave the word wisteria in your comment down below. Um, and also, I just wanted to say thank you for those of you that have shared your creations that you've seen in the video. I've seen so many of you making that really easy cinnamon and nutmeg latte and sharing and tagging me in your Instagram stories. So thank you. If you make this, I will be so proud. Please definitely tag me. Um, and while I'm on this kind of topic, I've got a little favour to ask you. If you have been enjoying these videos lately and you have not actually subscribed to the YouTube channel, it is really, really easy and it does actually mean a lot to me if you would hit the subscribe button. Then my videos will come up in your subscription feed, you don't get pestered with notifications or anything, but it just helps to ensure that you don't miss any videos. So yes, it would mean the world to me if you were to subscribe. So, pasta is in the little tray. Now, I am going to take a spoon, and I'm actually gonna take the smallest bit here. Hope that the flesh, yes, perfect, is gonna come away from the pumpkin skin. And then I'm adding it into the sauce. And then finally, I'm just adding in a teaspoon of mustard, and this is a strong English mustard. Okay, it's all blended. It's gone this really nice, slightly richer, almost brownier color. I just did the taste test and it is absolutely amazing. I might even save the rest of this pumpkin puree purely for mac and cheeses, but now I'm gonna pour it onto the pasta. I'll bring you down so you can witness this glorious moment. And now just on top, if I had some breadcrumbs, I'd add them, but I don't. So we're adding a little bit more cheddar, a little bit more freshly grated nutmeg, and some pepper. So this is how it's currently looking. I'm gonna roast this in the agar for about eight minutes until it goes golden brown on top. I would recommend around 180 degrees until it goes beautifully golden and crispy on those little high cheesy points. Oh my gosh. It's the hardest eight minutes ever because you just want to dig in right away. And around eight minutes later, here is how it's looking. 
I would normally maybe leave it a few minutes longer, but honestly, I cannot wait any longer. During that time, I've done all the washing up so I can just ooh, relax after I've eaten this. Now I'm just gonna watch a YouTube video while I have my lunch. This is someone's autumn fall reset. I just find these videos so like cozy and warming to watch. This is a channel called Vanessa Tew. So yeah, I'm gonna give this cozy video a watch while I tuck into my pumpkin mac and cheese. Well, that was absolutely delicious. As you may have noticed, I've had to take off my belt because belts and mac and cheese, they are not friends. Next, I'm making, not, I'm not gonna lie, I really need a little bit of a pick me up before this work call. I have got like a triple espresso. It's actually more of a single espresso, which is just quite long. And it's gonna be boosted with my Chaga mushrooms, the energy mushroom, also amazing for immunity. I don't know if you just heard that pop in the background, but basically I've got the pumpkin seeds in the agar. I put some olive oil and some salt and a little bit of curry powder on them. And just like popcorn kernels, they're kind of inflating. Do you hear that? And then popping, so strange. I'm adding a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Give that a good stir. And this is just gonna be the perfect little pick me up after a very carb heavy lunch finishing with my oat milk. Yum, yum, yum. There we have my Chaga cinnamon oat milk latte. Gosh, I can't believe this popping. Let me show you how inflated they are. I can't say I've ever noticed this when I've done this in the past. Maybe it's just like the super fresh pumpkin seeds, but they're like puffed up like little sugar puffs. I don't know, but I'm gonna let them cool down and then they will be a really nice little snack for later on this afternoon. Okay, my darlings, call is done. I am a free agent <laughs> for the rest of the afternoon and I must pat myself on the back for the success of that pumpkin mac and cheese. It was, it really was very good. Something about when you blend the sauce. Have I got a red mark on my neck or is that a shadow? <laughs> my best turkey impression. Yeah, it tasted almost like, you know when you go to the US and you get these kind of like fake cheesy sauces, they're so bad but so good. It kind of tasted like that and I feel like maybe that was the onion granules giving it that kind of slightly artificial taste. But normally I would think that that sounds horrible, but it was really, really good. It was scrumptious. So. Um, speaking of pumpkin flavorings, I did a bit of an Amazon order and I ordered the pumpkin pie spice. This is probably going to be used in my pumpkin and banana loaf that I plan on maybe making tomorrow. I did buy a few other baking themed bits um, that arrived in the same Amazon order. So I got these very jazzy, very jazzy in fact, little cookie cutters. So they're like leaves and um, you, you push the spring and then it ejects the cookie. This is just a regular cookie cutter without the ejection tool and it is a maple leaf. You've got an oak leaf and that kind of looks like sage regular leaf and another, oh that's the innard for the maple. So you can make like an indentation or you can make a, a cut out. I'm gonna make the most amazing pumpkin, apple, cinnamon sugar, items <laughs> tomorrow as well. It's it's gonna be a lot of yummy things being made in this vlog, I'm telling you. I think there's something about this time of year that you just crave yummy things, just like cozy, hearty, wholesome food. So pumpkin mac and cheese, not my latte, and all of the yummy treats that I'm gonna make tomorrow. Anyway, I thought I would show you some other bits that I purchased on Amazon. The day that you're watching this will be one of the infamous Prime days on Amazon. And what that means is that exclusively for Prime members, you have to have Amazon Prime as a um, subscription. You get access to the most 
amazing deals on Amazon. So many iconic brands and products, so many favourites are going to be going down massively, hugely reduced from like footwear to clothing to luggage to jewellery to watches. So I have picked up a few little treats that I'm going to share with you and a load more <laughs> miscellaneous items that may or may not be included in the sale but they are definitely worth looking at anyway. But very excitingly one brand that is included in the Prime Day discounts and Prime Day started at midnight if you're watching this the day that this vlog goes live so you've had it all day and it's going to end tomorrow at midnight so you've got a little bit over 24 hours left to shop if you're watching this video when it goes live so very excitingly crz yoga which is everyone's is it called yoga yeah crz yoga which is the brand of the Josie leggings, which are basically the leggings that I wear all the time. The gorgeous, soft, cinch you in in all the right places, um, olive green leggings. I thought I'd ordered another pair in olive green. They've obviously not arrived yet, but other bits have done. Imagine these in olive green. I also bought them in this eucalyptus color. They are the most fabulously high-waisted leggings in the world, making them incredibly comfortable, flattering. They've got a pocket here, which I find especially useful because I pop my phone in there. I was having this chat with my friend Hannah over dinner last week and she was saying, I don't know when you find time to listen to all of these health and wellness podcasts, but I said, I literally walk around the house with my phone in my legging pocket just listening to podcasts so I can be doing my errands, I can be nipping into the garden and I've just got my podcast chortling away in my pocket but yeah super stretchy and supportive waistband. I will show you how these look on in a second and considering I've just eaten a huge pumpkin mac and cheese you will see how supportive they are. Super flattering, insanely soft um, and in the sale. Hallelujah. So I'll leave this sensationally gorgeous eucalyptus-y colour linked down below and also the gorgeous brownie olive which are my absolute favourites. And yes, I did buy another pair for myself um, in the sale because they, they really are the best. Lots of you have messaged me saying, Josie, I bought them on your recommendation and you're right, they are. And I'm like, tell me about it. So I also got them in this beautiful, these, they also have a lovely thickness to them, which just makes them really nice and warm. They're not sheer at all. So for dog walks, for like wearing out in public, they're really, really nice. Also, I do like something a little bit softer. Obviously I love Adenola leggings and things like that, but these are just that little bit thicker, which I just feel Feel like I need that little bit of extra thickness at this time of year. You could of course wear them as thermals if you really wanted to. If you get chilly underneath your dresses or underneath your whatever um, wide leg trousers. Then I thought this was really nice and I've never never bought one of these before from um, from this brand. It's a long line top that's going to match my eucalyptus. I think it's going to match. Yeah I think they're the same colour long line workout top which um i think is going to be great again for those chillier sessions because the room that i do reformer pilates in at bamford does get a touch chilly at times um so a little bit less on show with that kind of top and also just from a body confidence point of view sometimes you don't want your tummy on show so they are going to be great. As I mentioned, I did actually purchase a few more um, and they haven't arrived yet. So what I'm going to do with the magic of editing is insert the try on clips for these and the new bits that are yet to arrive that will arrive by the time I film the try on or at least by the time I edit the video so you can see them all together. Hi darlings, so this is now Future Josie. Future Josie has not eaten an entire pumpkin mac and cheese, so I'm gonna do a little bit of a try on for you. Honestly, energy levels after pumpkin mac and cheese just do not <laughs> allow for try ons. So I thought I would just start off with the Josie leggings, the classic ones in this beautiful olive dark green colour. The most comfortable leggings of all time and also the most versatile. These are the ones that I wear the most with boots, with wellies. Um, I do obviously wear them to do workouts as well, but they're more... I would say these are more the ones that I reach for when I'm just at home and I want to pop on a vest top or a jumper. Anything that's just... just a really nice like cozy autumnal look. I find that this olive colour does go with most things in my wardrobe. Um, now they are really fabulously high waisted so 
you can see quite booty flattering and then they come up to way above the tummy button and for me leggings just have to come above the tummy button so they're perfect in this area they are full length but you can also get them in cropped they also just seem to suck you in perfectly these are the best leggings in my opinion in the whole world they are a fraction of the price of the lulu lemon align leggings and yet i think they are just as good i think they actually look identical to the lulu lemon align leggings but they i think are over 100 pounds and these are not so yes i will leave these very clearly marked down below as the Josie leggings because trust me these are definitely the ones that i would highly recommend the most of all of them okay next look and i apologize if these are not in the same order that i just showed you them in um but this is the first time i've actually tried on one of these long line tops and i really really like them sometimes i just like after a pumpkin mac and cheese i just don't want to have my tummy out when i'm doing a workout or if i'm wearing the outfit at home to do gardening or whatever so this is a really lovely almost gray tone I would call it like a eucalyptus sage kind of set and for these I did get the three-quarter length um, if you're really petite then they might be <laughs> full length but on me they are three-quarter these leggings have got the very very practical pockets which as I probably just mentioned I love for just keeping my phone in because then you literally got it on you all the time question do Apple watches play noise like i'm really confused with with the order of this vlog by the way because obviously i've already filmed the end of it so i don't know if by now you've seen my new apple watch i don't know but i did um get one mostly to track workouts and i did actually get this little rubber strap on amazon as well um and it's very very practical but would that solve my problem wow hang on i think we can literally decide right now this strap is a really good one for workouts the day that i'm filming this i did do a workout with the apple watch on and this strap just feels quite like i could probably clean it quite easily i'll probably just like run a flannel over the back of it or something oh i don't know where it's gone oh there we go so yeah the girls vlog that i've just been watching oh no the noise comes from the phone okay so you do still need to have your phone with you if like me you just like to be listening to podcasts and things when you are doing the gardening doing the house chores obviously it does slightly ruin the silhouette on the top but i don't really mind love the color love the length of it and then you do have all the stability of a regular sports bra underneath the leggings of course really nice and high-waisted oh <laughs> look like i've got a little tail I'll definitely be keeping these so the tag can come off and yeah they're just very very flattering leggings i absolutely love them whenever i wear them to pilates i always get a lot of questions about them and they're in the sale so now is a really good time to get them i mean they are as far as very supportive good quality fitness clothes go i would say quality is probably maybe even a little bit better than adenola it's certainly softer and a little bit thicker um but Charlie shouting Dickens. Maybe not quite as soft as Lululemon, but literally like a third of the price. So yeah, could not recommend this brand's fitness wear any more highly. And then I've got the lovely burgundy set to try as well. Okay, so this is the last, I think, of the workout wear outfits. And it's basically the same as what I just showed you. However, the trousers are full length and top well obviously the color <laughs> the color is different it's like an aubergine brown and i really really love it especially for this time of year once again you do have a, like that little removable pad thing in the sports bra and it has has got the supportiveness underneath you can't take the top layer off so it's not like a two in one it's just a long line top with the support of a sports bra which i really 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 like i think this color of leggings is very flattering honestly the things that these leggings do to your bum they look my bum looks great <laughs> i always think it looks really good in the mirror and then maybe not so good on camera but trust me it looks really good um <laughs> yes i do say so myself i like the full lengthness for the kind of cozy vibes i will probably wear this for pilates tomorrow um i showed this on my instagram recently and a lot of you absolutely fell in love with it so i'll leave this link down below but just really nice kind of cozy colors with some little boots 
Colin Cooper have just released kind of like an Ugg boot in chocolate brown and it's very much on my wish list. I've got a feeling Uggs might be in the Amazon sale today. <laughs> I'll leave them down below if I do find them discounted. But yeah, really like the cosy colours of this. Do I have any more Amazon bits to show you? Do you know what? A couple of really random bits. So I did choose a pair of Levi jeans because I saw that they were really well reduced in the sale and I like the look of the silhouette. So I'll try those on for you in a second. And I also saw these and oh my goodness me, Hermes. <laughs> wow, I'm actually kind of surprised that they're allowed to do it because they clearly really look like Hermes with the H kind of thing on the top. We all know that I'm just a little bit in love with Rattan Raffia in the summer months. It is no longer summer, but I know that this style of shoe, it's never really gonna go out of fashion. Gosh, they're comfortable. Very squidgy on the bottom. They really do look so <laughs> expensive. Obviously not with leggings. This is not the ideal way to show you. Obviously a fraction of the price of actual Hermes sandals and found on Amazon. So that's fabulous. Okay, let's quickly try on the jeans because it's actually insane the deals you can get on jeans during the, I think I just said Black Friday, Prime Day. <laughs> Feels like Black Friday, Prime Day sales. So I'll quickly whiz these on and then we can go back to <laughs> real time Josie and the rest of the vlog. Well, I think tragically they are potentially a tiny bit too big. I think I should have sized down. However, I can see real potential with these. I really like the way that they're fitted. They got plenty of room on the hips um, and then they, they do cinch in around the waist, which normally I find jeans a little bit more kind of straight up and down and I really do need a belt. I like the um, crop of them, which you probably can't see. They are a very good length on me. Maybe I don't need to size down. I just feel like there's maybe an inch here. Um, and I am <laughs> remember just not willing to have any kind of discomfort with jeans, otherwise I just would never ever reach for them. I like the traditionalness of the Levi's with like the really old like rustic button and the gold thread. And I like the fact silhouette wise that they do just go straight down. It feels a little bit more, maybe a bit more on trend for the moment. But yeah, big fan of these. I might order the next size down. Given the sale, it's gonna be super affordable, so I might as well. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. And that is, that is everything that I needed to try on. So let's go back to <laughs> real time Josie in the rest of the vlog. Okay, my darlings, we are back and I'm gonna show you a few of the, <laughs> the slightly more random bits that I purchased on, uh, on Amazon. Food jar. <laughs> I think I was envisaging going on a really nice, wholesome, long autumn winter walk and then cracking open my jar of soup or like dal or something. But realistically, if I go on a really long walk, I'm gonna stop at a pub. <laughs> I'm not gonna take my own food, but maybe if I make too much soup one day, I could put it in the fridge in this, but then that defeats the object. I don't know. <laughs> It's a Stanley item and I think I just got excited by wholesome ideas of going out foraging and eating homemade soup while I was out. I don't know, when do you think I could use this? Please let me know. Something I'm very excited about is the brown tan leather strap version of my Cartier dupe. Doop, doop. So this is the watch that I wear all day, every day. It is from Cartier. And there is another watch from Cartier that is even more similar to these ones which you can get on Amazon, which I'll pop on the screen here. And then this is the gold one that I've got, which is downstairs, but this is the watch that if I was to have a watch on my wish list, it would be this one. I think it's called the, the Cartier tank with the brown leather strap and for now this is going to keep me very much satisfied it's absolutely beautiful very classic very timeless and there's something about a brown leather strap that I feel is so autumnal as well and something like this it's very elegant and timeless and it just works beautifully with autumn outfits so yes I decided to treat myself to this because 
I'm certainly not in the financial place to treat myself <laughs> to the Cartier and this will very much fill that void of a beautiful brown leather strap watch in my wardrobe for autumn. Really gorgeous, really delicate, really feminine and really looks like Cartier. I love them. I think they're so beautiful. So absolutely love that. I'll leave this and my gold one linked down below. All of these pieces that I'm sharing with you right now from Amazon will be linked in the description box down beneath the video so you can go straight to all these pieces because I know it can be a little bit challenging finding these little gems on Amazon. So more randomness, I ordered an organic vanilla paste for my baking because I've been making a lot more ice cream at home lately and you do need a nice vanilla paste in your ice cream because most ice creams that you make start as like a vanilla and then you add flavour in, so niche things like this. Funny, in America they say niche, niche, not niche, isn't that funny? So yeah, niche or niche items like this I always like to pick up on Amazon and I also get my dark chocolate baking chips. I might put these in my pumpkin loaf tomorrow. Yum, a scrillo. Right, next, uh, headbands. Very much inspired by my darling Freddy. In her video where she launched her flossy collection, I'm hoping that my, my flossy dress order might arrive soon, she was wearing the most gorgeous brown headband. I think in that box, I've got a problem at the moment. I, I have got a problem with buying new things for my wardrobe for autumn. I think in that box there is a Jennifer Bear fabric velvet headband, which I'm gonna guess is going to look, in fact, we'll open it together in a second, almost identical to this one, but be 10 times the price. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure these are the kind of things you don't need to spend a lot of money on, but I think they're gonna look really, really cute. I've, I'm not, I've not got freshly washed hair right now, so probably, nor the right hairstyle. Let's take out the clip. Yeah, my hair is not really. I mean, it's not bad. That's actually fairly cute. Oh, they're adorable. I need my roots doing really badly, but this one, I think, now I can't actually remember which, but three of these came as a pack of three. I think it was this one came separately, so this one is like a coffee colour and more shiny, whereas the pack of three ones are a little bit more matte and a little bit more flat, like flat to the head. But as someone who really can't stand hair going in my face and that loves a cute little preppy style, I think I will get a lot of wear out of these. And then this one is a dark brown again fairly flat this is probably probably the best for blondes the dark brown one would you say because it's more of a contrast against your hair color this is obviously very artificial light right now because it's not the brightest outside but yes i think they are absolutely adorable and then the red which maybe i'll wear at christmas but that one just came as part of the pack so also got those um and then the final random purchase are some tights because the other day didn't i say i was trying something on and i wished i had a pair of brown tights so i ordered this little duo because i've ordered from amazon from this brand before and they're just really good quality really soft they don't snag they don't rip they don't look like thready on your legs if you've ever worn cheap tights you'll know what i mean when i say they can make your legs look thready but these are a very like smooth tight <laughs> they're really soft they have the perfect height waistband I don't feel like I need to be adjusting my waistband all the time and they're fairly supportive around the tummy too so I love them I got them in the brown and this pack also contains a black but I also got this second pair and these are actually mega supportive so it's almost like a skims kind of style top where it's literally gonna suck everything in it's like shapewear and tights in one so I'll leave the duo link down below and then I'll call these the support tights so you can have a little look at both and yeah I'm sure we can play around over the next few weeks with some lovely outfits that will feature 
brown tights. I've just been faffing about with the lighting settings on my camera for a little while and I can't figure out why I look so grey and honestly I think sometimes it's when I wear dark colours like if I had a light top on does that make any difference? I don't know maybe I've gone a bit mad maybe I've lost the plot a little bit Anyway, um, feel free to skip this if you're not loving the amount of unboxings and newness that's been on the channel lately, but I was going to open this little order from Nerd Porter anyway, so I thought we could do it together. There's some more nice autumn essential pieces in here, so let's have a little rummage. When I say essentials, obviously, <laughs> take that with a very large pinch of salt. What is this? Okay, we have got from Faithful, the brand, a little slip skirt that is in desperate need of a steam. I'm just loving this colour at the moment and in the past I have really loved to integrate slip skirts into my wardrobe at this time of year. So I thought I'd blend the two, my love of slip skirts and my current obsession with that colour. Ah. Netta Porter now also stock Varley and uh, like I was just saying about our chili Pilates studio I thought it might be nice to have a pair of little jogging bottoms I'll slip these on top of one of the Amazon pairs of leggings now to show you I thought that it would be nice to have a fairly loose pair of leggings that I can slip on over the top of my actual workout leggings just from getting to the car into the gym because when it gets cold here it gets really cold and even just my legs in the fitness leggings on my leather seats it can be so chilly before the heated seat has kicked in so that was my kind of plan with these and of course your average just relaxing at home um wanting to wear some comfy lounge trousers my love of um smart tailored trousers is really growing up by the second and these are from Loro Piana. I kind of was just curious to see if a brand as luxurious and as expensive as Loro Piana would give me that, the boost in visual and comfort in the similar boostedness as the prices. Does that make any sense? Basically, is it worth the um, extra cost? Are they really worth that huge amount of extra money compared to, for example, a pair of tailored trousers from and other stories. Okay, this is where it gets interesting because in here is going to be a headband, Jennifer Bear. Okay, it's different. Jennifer Bear is a luxury hair accessories brand. I wore the pearly bow clip, I'll put a picture on the screen here, uh, the night before my wedding and also the day after. So I did treat myself to one of her very expensive pieces then. This I feel like we should do a game of spot difference. I'm gonna wear this in some of the try on clips and this in the others. Will you be able to tell which is which? This is satin and these are velvet, but honestly, are people gonna respect you more for having a satin headband or a silk headband rather than a velvet one? The quality is beautiful. Well, let's just try it on. It's not gonna hurt. Wish I had nicely styled hair instead of post Pilates hair. What do you think? Is it wildly different? Who knows? Really, who knows? I'm honestly not sure that you can tell any difference whatsoever and certainly not for the price difference. <laughs> Looks like I ordered something else from her. I think this might be a little hair bow. Oh, now that is rather cute. I do absolutely love a half up, half down hairstyle and finished off with a little bow. It would be quite fun to do a DIY version of this. You can definitely get beautiful kind of coffee colored velvet ribbon on Amazon. I used to buy loads in green, velvety and burgundy for my gift wrapping at Christmas. So I'll see if I can find this color and then also these clips from Amazon. And yeah, I'm pretty sure you could do a DIY version, but I think this will look really, really cute. If I do do a DIY, then um, let me know if you'd like me to share it here on the YouTube channel. Now this is where it could look like I've got a problem <laughs> because I've actually got three Gucci bags in here and I just bought this one, but I've not taken the tag off this one yet. 
and just after I bought that one they released the full collection and obviously Nesta Porter is an online retailer so I couldn't browse them in real life so I thought I will just order a few and it's so easy to send things back so let's do a quick little comparison. I think actually that lighting is a little bit better isn't it even though it's darker and I know it's really boring <laughs> when YouTubers talk about lighting but um, anyway so this is the original bag that I purchased last week and I do still absolutely adore it I think it's beautiful and very classic and very very timeless but curiosity got the better of me and I thought I would order the extra ones in the collection too right let's call that one bag one and I'd love to know down below which one you guys think is the best this is bag two, so a little bit different obviously in its shape. You can see the continuity obviously from <laughs> the collection. Same way of opening the little top flap item, pretty spacious inside, also crossbody. And do you remember I showed you that it has the like opening strap? So this is the shortest option. And then you can open up the buckles and you can literally make it like twice this length. I'm not going to faff about with it, basically you can make it twice the length and then it looks really nice worn cross body. So slightly more of a kind of saddle bag shape. Bag number three, and this one is the most affordable. It's actually almost half the price of the first bag that I showed you, which is obviously a really, really big consideration. This one is more of a camera bag size and style. Ooh, huh? Ah. So you have just this one kind of buckle style strap which obviously you can wear at any length you desire. Being a small person, um, normally the shortest length is right for me. So it looks like this can really easily be worn cross body. I think for the I think for the price this one would probably be the best price per wear. But for me, is it a little bit casual for an everyday handbag? Um, and I do have a Fendi bag that is the same shape as this. And I love that one, but do I need something quite so similar? So then bag number four is this one here. And this was actually the first one of the second batch that I saw that made me... Oh. <laughs> I bought two of the last bag, oh no. <laughs> I bought the camera bag twice. How have I managed to do that? There was meant to be four different bags to choose from. Do you know what, I'm kind of, I'm leaning towards this one because I think it's a little bit different. I like the size of it. Do I really need the ink? Wow, they are quite different sizes actually. That really does justify the price difference. Well, it doesn't justify it, but it makes it make sense. I guess I need to think about how much stuff I'm going to be carrying. I will try fitting all of my essentials in this one versus in this one, and I think that will be the deciding factor. The final thing in, oh no, there's two final things, a dark brown pair of skims. I was originally buying size extra small on skims and I just couldn't get them on so I'm now swapping them for a size small and I got this dark brown colour in the little shorts because I thought that that would go the best with the outfits that I'm wearing. Not that you can see them underneath but also sometimes I feel like the beigey ones they do just look very like old fashioned, don't they? So I thought I'd get them in the cocoa color, which I love. And then this gorgeous knit is the final thing in the order. It is from Citizens of Humanity. And it's just a really gorgeous, mega chunky roll neck knit. So yeah, I'll give that a little try. And there we go. Please let me know what you think about the Gucci bags down below. Um, this is like my handbag for the autumn and winter. So it's something that I'll be getting a lot of wear out of. So I need to make the right decision. I just don't wanna swap for the half moon saddle bag and then find that I'm not fitting enough in it and then not ending up wearing it. So I need to think carefully about it, but let me know your thoughts. Okay, my darlings, one more thing to share with you before I go downstairs, and it is this little belt. And I, again, really love your opinions on this. This was actually um, served to me as an ad on Instagram. And I'm not gonna lie, I had seen K 
Kate Hutchins, who I love to follow on Instagram. Her style is actually not very similar to mine. She's a lot more minimal, cool girl, but she always looks so beautiful and elegant, and she's just, she's a really lovely girl. And she did a one million follower giveaway of an Hermes Kelly belt. And I looked at the belt and I was like, yeah, that's really gorgeous. It's really timeless, but I'm just not willing to spend that amount of money on a belt. Plus the Kelly belts are quite hard to get your hands on, I think. Um, I think it's one of those things where they prefer their best customers to get them. You can't normally just walk into a store and get them. Anyway, so maybe the fact that I hovered on that belt led to this being advertised to me. Instagram advertising is very clever. So this is from a brand called Saraviche, Cara, Caraviche, Caraviche London. Um, and I think I paid around 50 pounds for this which is a lot less than the Hermes Kelly belt. Initially, I thought, oh no, it's too big for me, but with a little bit of maneuvering, it's actually very adjustable. This is, I think, the smallest it would go. So if you've got a much more mini waist than I do, then it would be a little bit big for you. And I think I got the smaller size. I have to say the quality of it, I'm really, really happy with. Um, at the moment, it's a little bit like a straight jacket because <laughs> I feel so bloated from the pumpkin mac and cheese. Um, I don't regret it, obviously, but I do feel very bloated. But I love to elevate dresses like this, and I really feel that this belt does do that. It definitely gives it a kind of designery finish. I think in more summery outfits, imagine this over a white linen shirt dress. That would look absolutely sensational. And yeah, it's a really nice piece for getting that designer look for less, but equally for dressing up an otherwise very simple Amazon dress. Let's add in another beautiful touch. Obviously it's not the same leather, but I really do like this bag. I think this is definitely the one that I'm leaning towards. So I'll be really interested to see if you guys think similar. Um, I don't actually know if Hermes make a belt that is exactly this style. I think, oh, I wonder if you could actually just wear it like this part of it, because that really is like the Hermes one, isn't it? I'm sure you probably could. But yeah, I thought I would share that with you, a very, very well targeted Instagram ad. And I'm sure I'll be styling it with a lot of outfits. little subtle home updates which as you'll have just seen start with the new addition of this crucial trading rug that we ordered a few months ago and it's just to add a little bit of depth to the living room and Ch I think Charlie actually chose the edging color of this and it couldn't be more perfect so did you first come across crucial trading on Instagram? No. I can't actually remember. Probably. So, probably well almost certainly through Instagram yeah mm. but obviously the nice thing is they are bespoke. Yeah. I wouldn't say they're not, nothing's affordable nowadays, but they're, when comparing it to say Waveney Rush, which we have in the drawing room in our bedroom, mm. it's literally a tenth of the price. Wow. But Waveney Rush is a natural product and they're handmade. Mm. These are handmade in sort of sorts, but they're not hand woven. Do you think uh, they literally take like <clears throat> strips of carpet and then they just bind the edges? Yeah, I think so. And yeah. I think it's really clever. It is. Um, it did take nearly three months, mm. I think. But yeah, I think to be honest, with the new cottage as well, yeah. I'm, I think some of the rooms that are, and even the original cottage, I think the top floor bedroom, we want one massive one of these mm. over the what is currently white floorboards rather yeah. than a rug. And to give you an idea, it is more affordable getting one of these than, than a rug room. that size. Oh. Yeah. Definitely. That's interesting. Um, well, this rug that we're on now is probably a similar price to the Crucial Trading rug. One and the Crucial Trading rug's a fair bit bigger. Yeah. The, um, the pink border looks absolutely gorgeous. Works really nicely with the pink rug yeah, underneath. Yeah, it works nicely and it's also nicer underfoot. Yeah, it we're is. We're sort of learning, aren't we? When we first moved in, and it's, you know, um, I think one of, the, one of the things that we learned initially was we loved all the wooden floors and stone floors because we didn't have that in London. Mm -hmm. We did, but like we had engineered wood, like fake wood. So initially we were like, no, 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 let's not cover it up. But then the more you live somewhere, 
it's A, got to be comfortable and suit, suit your lifestyle, but also yeah. we've got so much wood everywhere, it's almost too much. Yeah. Um, and I think, particularly in the bedroom, adding that rug has made it feel more cosy and brought the room in together. Yeah. Almost brings the furniture in together as well, doesn't it? Definitely. No, it looks really nice. Yeah. Good choice, darling. You and then here in the fireplace, we have got the last of the summer blooms, these beautiful dahlias. Do you remember last year I chose colours that were a bit more autumnal because I remember last year I had lots of pink and like purple dahlias blooming at this time of year and I was kind of bored of those colours and I wished that I'd chosen some more autumnal tones to bring into the house. So this year we are reaping the rewards of that decision. You might have also spotted, I was doing a little bit of, um, bless you, a little bit of carpet cleaning. We get this on Amazon and it is quite literally, if you've got dogs or if you've got muddy boots, muddy children coming yeah, into the house. Say is it, it's obviously probably got a lot of chemicals in it. It does, so but sometimes you need to, that's delightful. Yeah, as people that are trying to cut down on that, it's just one of those few things, isn't it, that you, that and toilet bleach you can't avoid. Yeah, but um, for yeah. mega carpet cleaning, it just really does a great job. This is fabulous. Um, and then the other little update I wanted to do in here to make it a bit more autumnal, we've got a couple of pumpkins in the garden that I'm just going to pop around the fireplace, and I'm yet to decide where to put these beauties from Jack's garden. So maybe... Does? Jolly good. Enjoy my bonbons. Oh yes. Oh yes, I love this rug. It's really good at times. We might do a little wee just to christen it. Another way that Charlie and I like to update the home seasonally is with the wreath that we keep above the Arga. They always dry out really beautifully. We actually made this one on a press event together. Um, it's just looking a little bit more sad over time, but it's done us well over spring and summer. Now we have this beauty to add in place. Charlie bought this one from Dalesford yesterday. It's got some absolutely beautiful elements to it. We've got these lovely dried poppy heads. Um, we've got lots of hedgerow foliage, some wildflower. Um, oh, these are really lovely nigella seed pods. You've got even some rosemary, lots of... elevator muse of hydrangea leaf and buds in there really really gorgeous um, so we're just going to do a little switcheroo to update the wreath in the kitchen darlings it's Saturday morning I haven't been awake for very long <laughs> coffee very much required about to head over to Bamford to do a nice hour of reformer Pilates hence the makeup free look I think I need it this morning my body needs majorly stretching out um, I have finally in my 31st year of life or maybe even 32nd entered the Apple Watch Club. <laughs> My friends have been raving about Apple Watches for literally years and years and years and um, saying how great they are for fitness tracking and things like that, but I am slow to the party and have literally only just got one. Also, I think because I haven't been wanting to wear my nice watch in London, I thought this would be quite handy and someone that I was listening to, I think it might have been Lily Pebble, might have been Lily Pebbles, she was saying how it's quite handy when you don't want to be that person that has your mobile phone on the table and yet you do still need to be aware of any urgent notifications so you can just like glance down at your watch so there we go um today i'm going to try it for the first time with regards to like fitness tracking i bought the cheapest watch possible with the cheapest strap and it's really not a very nice strap so amazon came to the rescue um I actually don't know for sure that these are going to be Apple Watch straps. It did say that they were delivered, but I have ordered a couple of other things. <laughs> okay, that's definitely not an Apple Watch strap. Ah! It's another yoga top, but I probably will have shown you this already in the try-on clips because I'm actually going to film them later that you'll have seen yesterday. Right. 
take two. Okay, we have got, yes. Yay, loads. Okay, fantastic. So I think that this rubber one is probably gonna be the best option for fitness. It seems like the most kind of hygienic <laughs> option, if you know what I mean. And it's got this cute little rose gold button. I think it's just as easy. Oh, that is so clever. This is all the Apple Watches. <laughs> it's just like a block. Um, so I'm going to slide that in there. I did not realize how easy this would be. That's fantastic. As easy as that, we've got a new watch strap. That is amazing. So yeah, I got the smallest screen. Okay, that's not right. I need to, oh, I've done it upside down as well. I'll have a fiddle with this in the car and make sure that I'm actually wearing it properly because that is definitely not correct. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be tracking my workouts and um, I'm sure other things on here. So anyone that is a pro at Apple watching, please let me know your favorite ways of using it. Speaking of my little Pilates outfit of the day featuring sleeping Dickens, I've got my Abercrombie knit on and then these are the Amazon leggings with the crossover detail. And these are the best ones because they're in this gorgeous olivey eucalyptus color. And you've got the pocket here, which is fantastic if you are um, out and about listening to your podcast or just wanna keep your phone on you. And they've got that fabulous, super flattering, like crossover detail here, which I absolutely love. And then just little sports bra. Oh, sorry, I feel like I'm just fully asleep <laughs> this morning. So let's head over to Pilates and I'll probably make a little bit more sense after I've stretched it all out. <laughs> again and that was actually the toughest reformer class I think I have ever done. <laughs> it was really really tough so much so that when um, we went into the nest cafe area afterwards there were some people that we knew and we started talking to them and I was like I'm gonna have to just go to the changing room because my eyes were going starry. It was crazy. Fairly quick turnaround now and then we are heading into Morton. It's Charlie's brother George's birthday so we've all got a lovely lunch together but I haven't eaten anything yet today. I'm gonna to do a quick yogurt. Um, and I had a really lovely PR delivery from Ancient and Brave. You may know the name because this is what I pop in my delicious smoothies when I do like coffee, um, dates, banana. It's just scrumptious. This is their cacao and collagen. You can also put this in energy balls. I'm pretty sure I've put it in cupcakes. Yes, my courgette cupcakes. Courgette and collagen cupcakes, but very excitingly, they have got a matcha. So this is matcha and collagen. Now I still do not have like a bowl and whisk, so I make my matcha in the very <laughs> non-traditional way in my milk frother. But I'm very excited to give this a try. So we've got some instructions here. They've got MCT oils, they've got um, hydration syrups, so many different things. And it's a really lovely, oh, they are actually a B Corp, climate neutral, really, really lovely brand. Wow, this is amazing. They've got lots of recipes in here, all of their different products. Thai butternut squash soup, that looks scrumptious. Anyway, I need to get cracking, so I'm gonna make myself a matcha, do a nice little bowl of seeded yogurt with some blackberries that we picked yesterday, and then um, get ready for our birthday lunch. I have to say I love their branding as well. It's really, really beautiful. So we've got, oh my God, this is getting messy. So oat milk is going in the frother. By the way, loved using an Apple Watch during the workout. I actually didn't realize that you have to tell it that you're doing a workout, so I only clicked that um, halfway through. So from now on, I'll actually be doing it properly. But interesting to see um, all of your stats afterwards. Okay, spoonful of matcha. And I'm going to add some hot water to this to make it into a paste. This is my hand whisk that I got on Amazon that I take with me when I'm traveling so I can make a nice frothy oat milk. 
but it also works really well as a matcha whisk. Whisked up matcha, you could definitely add in some maple syrup, but I'm gonna try how this tastes on its own first. Adding in the oat milk. Yum. Well, I actually did not think I would get any more wear out of this dress this year due to weather. However, weather however, it's about 25 degrees today, which is totally wild for um, the middle of October. But I will never, ever, ever complain about lovely weather. I ordered at the end of summer and stupidly forgot to take these with me when we went to Catalonia. These are my usual favorite Amazon sunglasses, the gorgeous cat eye. They are superbly affordable. And um, yes, last month I ordered the tortoise shell version. So I will be able to get some use out of those today. Also popping on my little Cartier dupe and I'm just gonna very quickly whiz this through my hair. I think I mentioned to you a few vlogs ago that I loaned it to my mother um, but yeah, she gave it back to me recently, so I've kind of rediscovered how much I like it, especially when you've just got a few minutes and maybe your hair has air dried and you just want to add a little bit of smoothness and movement. You can actually create a really good curl with it if you do a proper swizzle. It's the GHD Rise, by the way. I know you can get loads of different hot brushes. Um, but this is the one that I have, so you can get a really nice curl. Um, but yeah, I don't have time <laughs> to curl my entire hair, so I'm just going to create a little bit of a swoosh. This is definitely not how you're meant to use it, but when you've only got a few moments, it does the trick. If you can see, I'm just kind of brushing my hair, but creating a little bit of a swoosh in the middle. It makes it look like you've done something a little bit more skillful with your hair dryer. When in reality, I let it air dry after Pilates. just going to use my sunglasses to hold my hair back for a moment because um, I'm just going to do a tiny bit of a makeup top up. This arrived the other day from Clay de Poe and it's meant to be an ultra hydrating long lasting eyeshadow so I'm going to put it to the test today. I thought the colours in this palette were just perfection and this bottom left is actually a lid primer and this is meant to give you up to 14 hour wear on your eyeshadow crease free and I have noticed lately that my eyelids are starting to get a little bit creasy so interested to see if this does perform um, because we actually are going to be out now all day I don't think we're going to be popping back until much much later tonight because after George's birthday lunch we are actually heading to Oxford to the very historic it's called the Sheldonian Theatre I'll pop a photo of it on the screen here. Very, very famous building, featured in many films, Da Vinci Code, um, probably Harry Potter at some point. And we are actually going to a candlelight Hans Zimmer concert this evening, which I'm very, very much looking forward to. Charlie and I are huge Hans Zimmer fans, and I think it's gonna be incredible in such a beautiful historic location. I've just popped that one over the whole eyelid and then this one is a little bit more shimmery so I'm just going to pop that in the corners. I think if you're really good at smoky eyes this palette will be a really sensational one. <laughs> Unfortunately I'm not but if this lasts all day I'll be very happy. A little bit of mascara and I'm really enjoying the Vive mascara at the moment. And this little pixie brow tamer packs one heck of a punch. It really does keep the brows in place. So just swoosh that 
through the brows. Just remember there's something that I really want to show you that I will be posting some Instagram stories of today um, because it's out today. So let me give you a glimpse. I will be sharing a little bit more about this um, in the next video, but seeing as it actually comes out today, and I really don't want you to miss out in case it sells out, this is a little sneak peek into the Astrid and Mew 24 day advent calendar um, for 2023. I know it's early, but the best ones do sell out so quickly. So this is definitely something to put on your wish list. but if you are letting someone know that it's on your wish list, you need to also let them know that they need to buy it very, very quickly. So this is worth, the jewelry in here is worth over 1,300 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> very very special indeed. The box itself is this beauty- I can't believe you can see all the mess in the background, that's just embarrassing, we'll just do this. The box itself is a beautiful jewellery box, it's this gorgeous, I think it's faux leather, with the mystical co cosmic? cosmic kind of detail. Um, and then inside, if you- I'm so sorry about the mess that you're going to see in the reflection, at least I'm actually using a tripod. Underneath where the boxes are, it's kind of a suede at. So it is actually a full on jewelry box when you've finished pulling out all the pieces. There is everything from earrings to rings to necklaces to bracelets. I actually couldn't resist keeping this one on when I unboxed it for the Instagram stories. I think this would just be the most gorgeous Christmas gift. If you know someone who's got their birthday at the end of November, then the timing would be absolutely perfect for that. There are literally 24 days of Astrid and Mew pieces in here. You can choose whether you want gold or silver. And there are also two other calendars at different price points. One is solid gold, one I believe is a 12 day calendar. But as far as advent calendar gifts go, this is by far the best one that I've seen, especially with the beauty of the box itself and of course the gorgeous Astrid and Mew pieces within it. Let's do one little unboxing together. Who can resist <laughs> seeing what's behind day number 24? I've got a sneak peek that this is actually an exclusive piece, so you can't actually buy this unless, oh my goodness, unless you buy the advent calendar. How stunning. This is a pair of beautiful pearl hoop earrings. Is that gonna go with today's outfit? I feel like pearls just go with everything. And the hoops themselves, in fact, I wonder, do you know, Oh no, you can't remove the, the pearls. Sometimes you can remove the pearl and just wear them as beautiful hoops, but these are simply divine. <gasps> How pretty are those? Oh my goodness. So yeah, I thought I would mention this today because it is out today. So I'll leave this linked in the description box down below in case you have got a beautiful, very generous gift on your gift list this year, or you just want to treat yourself because the value that you get compared to the RRP is absolutely incredible for jewellery lovers, it's just fabulous. Now I feel like I could actually wear one of my cute little Amazon headbands with today's outfit, especially with how we've done the hair just with that gentle little flick. So when I wear headbands I like to keep my hair in a central parting. That looks rather adorable. And I feel like the brown just gives the whole look a slightly more autumnal feel. So cute. So cute. Okay, that is my outfit for the afternoon sorted. Let's head over to Morton in Marsh. And just like that, it is about four hours later, didn't film anything at our family lunch. We went back to George and Petra's house and quickly watched a little bit of the rugby. We couldn't stay the whole time because of course Charlie and I are heading to the Hans Zimmer by Candlelight concert in Oxford this evening. You might be thinking, Josie, that is a gorgeous dress you're wearing. Well. I could not be more proud because this is not just any dress and let me tell you, 
it's sensational. This is a Flossy by Freddy. This is the third Flossy by Freddy dress that I have purchased from my darling girl, Freddy. It's her dress brand and she just gets better and better and better and this season it was very hard for me to choose. In fact I have got my name on the waiting list for a Cindy dress and cape as well. They are stunning but this one, the second I saw this dress on her Instagram I was like darling save me one <laughs> because they sell out so quickly and she did so this is the Darcy dress and my darling Freddie is the ultimate theatre goer concert attender so what more perfect outfit could I wear for tonight than the Darcy dress from Flossy by Freddie's latest collection it is this most beautiful brown in the nicest way possible curtain like material it's like a beautiful thick jacquard I adore a square neckline it's quite short for me very short for me let me show you full length while also trying to hide all of the junk in my bedroom now I wasn't too sure um, I might put on a more slim fit pair of boots because I have got my Amazon brown tights on and they're such a gorgeous thickness um, but yeah I wasn't too sure what shoes to wear and I'm still not sure Hmm, I need to look on Freddie's Instagram might do a quick change have you guys even seen the video yet where I unbox oh yeah it was early on in this was it? I don't know because it's actually a few days later since the last day that you'll have seen. I have actually decided that this saddle like bag is what I'm going to keep. But anyway, back to the dress. Beautiful design details. You've got these gorgeous pearls on the hems. The material is sensational. The fit and flare silhouette is just absolutely gorgeous. And it's got a zip up closure at the back, but it does gives the illusion of a pearl button down. I absolutely love it. Perfect outfit for tonight. I am gonna take a cardi, or should I take my, whenever I take this out, I always get so many questions about it. It really is lovely, my Marge sleeveless cozy item. It's been warm today, but I'm not sure if it's gonna stay warm. That does look quite cute, doesn't it? Okay, we are decided. This is the outfit of the evening. Now let's head to Oxford. I did change my mind. I've popped on the Reese boots, so just a little bit more of a slim fit. I think an even darker coloured boot would have looked even better, but still, very happy with my outfit of the I'll evening. I'll have to get a shot of the building from further away when we leave, but we're about to head in. This is the Sheldonian Theatre, built around the year 1660 something. Quite spectacular. Heading in. Um, of course LED candles in here so this is the Sheldonian theatre um, and it's now in use by the University of Oxford it has been for the last over 350 years you can see this beautiful Baroque painting on the ceiling 
it's still used for university assemblies and it was built by Sir Christopher Wren in a D shape for the amazing acoustics like the Royal Albert Hall and very much inspired by Roman architecture like the amphitheatres but of course with the English weather we had to have a roof which for a building of this shape was seen as a real architectural feat back in the 1600s so quite an incredible location and a fabulous performance. Anyone that knows us will know that Charlie and I are not night owls, quite the opposite. However, of course, we are rather peckish after the concert. Overall review, it was wonderful. I love that it was only an hour long, but scandalously, they didn't do the most famous songs of the film. So for example, with Gladiator, they didn't do Now We Are Free. They did the opening scene. They finished on Pirates of the Caribbean, nothing from the holiday, but they did start with The Lion King, so I was crying from the word go. Right. But anyway, we've realised that there's a Franco Manca in Oxford, so that is where we are heading. We literally ordered these two minutes ago, fresh out of the pizza oven, and they look sensational. We have not had Franco Manca since we lived in Brixton. We're ticking the box of honestly. We are. Yeah, it's like we we're... It's like we're missing our London days. Here we go.